Hi everyone, welcome to um, another craft session. We're going to make a silly marble bowling game today. So you're going to need scissors, a pen, a glue stick, some sticky tape. I'm using brown parcel tape here, um, but you could use sellotape if you wanted. Some googly eyes, of course, which I love. If you haven't got googly eyes, you could always cut out circles of card. Um, I've cut out a little smile and uh, I'll tell you how to use that later. A few strips of coloured paper or coloured card and some cardboard. Um, you could use a shoebox lid or you could get some cardboard from one of those large boxes that you find in the supermarket. And of course, you need some marbles. Just to be aware, if you've got small children in the house, um, they are a choking hazard and uh, you would need to supervise them at all times. We'll start off by making the tray. I've painted my cardboard gold just to make it nice and shiny and a little bit more fun. And we need to make the tray so we need to glue on some sides. If you've got a shoe box, yours will already come with sides, but I'm going to use sticky tape on the back just to glue the sides on. This cardboard is actually twice as long as it is wide. It doesn't have to be, but that's the way it works for me. Once you have done that, you should have a tray that looks, it's got three sides. This side we leave empty, but three walls, as you can see, I've used lots and lots of sticky tape on the back. We now need to make the insert to go inside our tray. I've got another piece of card that is the width of the box. And for this, we need to make little archways for the marbles to go through. I think it's easiest, perhaps, if you draw around your thumb. Well, my thumb is the perfect size for a marble. You may have to find a grown-up that has a bigger thumb than you. Put your thumb in the middle and you draw around it to make an archway. And you want, you want one here and one here. So I'm going to put this one in first, not too close to the edge. Draw around and then that one there. And I'm going to draw around and the same on the other side. You now need to cut out all of your little arches. So you're left with something like this. Now we need to put the points on. For the middle one, which I think is the trickiest, I'm going to write a six above there for six points. And I think these ones at the edges are easiest. So that's gonna get a two and another two over here. And you guessed it, the ones in between, four. So now we need to stick this into our box. It's going to need to go quite near the end. Let me show you a little bit like this. Quite near the end and with enough room to catch the marbles behind when you bowl them down your pitch. So we should have a long box with our scores.
scoring at the end. And this might be enough for you. This might be okay. You can roll your marbles down. Ooh. And score whichever hole they go into. It's trickier than it looks. There, number four, straight away. But if you are very good at that, I think we can make it just a little bit harder. So I think if we put, I don't know, um, some googly eyes. One. Two. Maybe we'll make him happy. A smiley face. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take our strands of paper and concertina them up, folding until I have a lovely zigzag like this. And maybe right in front of the six, give him some crazy hair. And that will make those high scores really tricky. There you go. So he's right in front of the number six there. Let's see, a little bit like pinball. Oops. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, only two. If you would like, to make your little balls run down them faster, you could use a toothpaste packet and make a little chute so you can send them down. Oh, that was in number four. Come on. It's trickier. Oopsie. It's trickier than it looks. 